What's up guys, Force 15 here, bringing you a little tropical weather update uh, for the, well technically now the 22nd of November at 00 Zulu. Um, up, and we're now on advisory number 14 for Tropical Storm Rick in the Eastern Pacific. Um, it's quite different to its predecessor Rick, uh, being Cat 5 back in 2009. Um, it's barely got above 40 miles an hour, its peak was 40 miles an hour, air pressure was 1,002. Uh, it's expected to drop off a cliff pretty much, um, weakening to a tropical depression by tomorrow. Um, and, uh, <coughs> sorry, a bit, bit of a cold at the moment, um, just have to soldier through. Um, so Rick's current location is 16.8 degrees north, 115.9 degrees west. Movement is west at 12 miles an hour, jogging slightly west, more westwards um, than the NHC had anticipated. Um, the storm is expected to dissipate pretty much harmlessly in the open eastern Pacific, but there is still some possibility that the storm will affect the Baja California Peninsula as a remnant low. Also, the disturbance behind that, which I think has now been labelled, I believe, as in, I believe now um, it's been labelled as Invest 95, oh no, it's 91A even, um, and uh, that's expected um, to become uh, Tropical Storm Sandra relatively quickly, um, with an 80% chance of development in the next five days. Uh, we're getting ever and closer and closer and closer to it being possibly the most active Pacific hurricane season on record. Um, so far, we are now one away, one tropical depression away um, from uh, drawing with 1992, um, and we, I believe now we are two named storms away uh, from the record, and also one hurricane away from breaking the record, or well, drawing level with the record. Um, because the, t the totals from 1992 were 30 tropical depressions, 27 named storms, 16 hurricanes, and 10 major hurricanes. And the 16 hurricanes actually tied last year. Um, but so far this year, we've had 29 tropical depressions, 25 named storms, 15 hurricanes, and 10 major hurricanes. It sounds. It looks like one of my um, hypo world seasons. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, <coughs> also actually having one of my storms, um, in Hyperworld actually being 200 miles an hour like Patricia, uh, this is just weird actually. Cause it happened like a couple of weeks before Patricia actually came round. That's just weird. Uh, actually, I oh know, yeah, this was a couple of months, it was August, I think that one came round, or start of September. Um, yeah, but Michael was in. Michael was in September, and I just realised actually I'm talking to Craig on Skype as well, and I'm on the YouTube video. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep this anyway, just for the lols. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I know it's highly unprofessional, but still gives people lols. <laughs> um, and the self has actually been quite similar um, between the 1992 season and the 2015 season. Um, around about the same amount of Category 4 storms, um, with si um, Cat 4 has been Celia, Estelle, Frank, Orlean, Iniki, Tina and Virgil in uh, 92, and quite a lot this um, season as well, though there was no Cat 5s in 1992, whereas there was Cat 5 this year. Um, though the Atlantic just hasn't been able to get there. Talking to the Atlantic, that's dead as usual. A little bit of late season activity with Kate um, about a week or so ago, um, and it could actually have been a bit more than that. Um, also, my thoughts on Hurricane Joaquin, um, possibly looking at. Um, I think they're going to put that up to a Category Five in the postseason analysis. If I'm honest, just my personal view, I think they will put it up in the postseason analysis. Um, anyways, so um, I'll move swiftly on now. Um, other storms that we have active Typhoon Infer, which is a category 4 storm with winds of 130 miles an hour, was expected to become a super. Was It was expected to become. It was expected to become a super typhoon, and actually, correction, it's now 120, uh, 110 knots even. 
which I believe is 120 or 125 miles per hour. So it's actually been downgraded. It's been downgraded to a Category 3 storm, actually, um, as Craig told me earlier. Um, and uh, and now expected um, gradual weakening. Still expected to be a ty typhoon in the next five days. Um, though a weak one at that, um, possibly uh, just past north of IO2, I think that's the IO2 islands, um, just north of there is a category 1 storm, um, and the storm is pretty much expected to go downhill from from here on in. Um, the slacing activity, and it's actually quite an impressive storm for the late season. And now on to the last thing I think there is now, um, which is um, Cyclone Annabelle. <coughs> Sorry. Um, we're expecting um, that Annabelle possibly peak at around about 70 miles an hour, 60 knots, borderline um, uh, cyclone, borderline cat 1. Could still do it, um, though it's unlikely uh, at that um, far latitude, I think, because uh, it's starting to head into cooler waters, although the season is expected to pick up. Um, so anyways, um, that's all, and also actually just quickly commenting, Invest 93P, looking alright, although it's pretty much dispersed over, um, the, uh, Queensland, uh, sort of, put, uh, Bay of, uh, Campy, I think that is, or, that's no, not Bay of Campy, um, it's not more towards, um, I'm just checking now, I, Cannot remember for the life of me that name. Um, uh, it's in the Gulf Carpentaria. So that's that's what it is, Gulf Carpentaria. Um, it's just made landfall around about the Lockhart area um, in uh, Australia. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, it's expected to move over into the Gulf Carpentaria. Um, and uh, could possibly redevelop there, although it um, looks like they're dying out due to land interaction. So, anyway, that's all from me now. Thank you guys for watching. This is Force 15 signing off.